Hello, so we are back, but this time it will be a long video. Yeah, we have a few jobs. Let's make like a workflow. Let's start. I have like, I think like three, four laptops here. Okay, let's start with the first one. The jobs are from a local repair shop. What was that noise? Uh, this one Charging port issue, okay, let's see this one So what do we have here? We have a nice Dell laptop It was repaired in 2021 It's not coming on and the saying uh, can be a charging port problem, yeah? Let me find a charger. And I do have a charger here. Dell charger. What's this? I mean, check here. How this, how this is working? Well, it is working. Okay, that's crazy. Now it's not working. Now it's working. You can see light. No, it was already working. When I keep press, it's... Huh? Now it's working. Now it's working if I hold it. But otherwise... I don't know. Now it's working. Yeah, now it's not working. Okay. So clearly here we have a charging port problem. It's, it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. And today was snowing outside. You can believe that? By the way, you remember the last video with the laptop with the cheap set, the weird job one? So actually, the laptop died one day later. It happened the same, yeah, the voltage got dropped to 2.4 volts. I tried giving the power supply and the chipset got shorted. And end of story, I came with more current and the chipset literally blow up. I mean, it has a hole. <laughs> so uh, I can't replace that chipset. Obviously, it's a different price. The chipsets are uh, expensive. SR40B, if I remember that one. SR40B. And uh, I'm waiting for the customer confirmation in order to order the chipset to replace it. But yeah, that was a weird job with, you know, a chipset partial shorted. Partial shorted, but still working. Oh, the laptop is even on. Let me shut down the laptop. Shut down. Plastic clips. Plastic clips. So here we have a faulty charging port, right? I don't know if it's faulty. Maybe it's like one hour wire, it's not soldered properly. We'll see. We will see. I have I have to change it. I have some spares. Okay, so we remove the back cover. You know what? I swear I have same model here. I have another another Dell, same, exactly the same like this. The battery is swallow, you can see. It's fat. The charging port is here. Let's open the 
Let's open this and check the charging port. The wires are good because they have some hot glue around. But what's the problem then with this port? I'm curious. What do you think is the problem? It's inside. Huh? I can, I can see some wires here. Well, let's have a look. Let's see. So this is the port. I mean, it's, it's looking okay, right? So what's the problem with this port then? I mean, it's going so... Uh, you know, it's loose, kind of loose. Oh. Okay, we do have another one. Let's replace it. Somewhere here. I'm pretty sure I have one here. I have. The only problem, and it's fine, you see are two kinds of ports, like this one, or like this one. So you can see this one is like cut like that, but this one is straight. But this should be fine because the edges here are 90 degrees, so that should be fine. Let's plug the connector if we can. Huh? I don't even know how it's supposed to be. Like that? No. Should be like that, right? Don't tell me it's not the same. It's not the same. It is the same. Come on. It's exactly the same. Okay, so the connector goes inside. Let's see if it's charging. We should have some light. Yeah, we do have the light here, you can see. So it's working. Yeah, like that. Let's put the screw back. You know, just a nice and pleasant job on a Tuesday. <clears throat> right? So how is everyone? What everyone is working right now. Same fixing rubbish like me. Let's check the other hinge. Yeah, it's okay. Let's put the back cover. Let's see if we have uh, we have any problem with the charging port. Perfect. Check that. It's exactly on the middle. So some of the, you know, if the case it has like 90 degrees, you can swap this port with the other one. But if the case is banded, you can't. I mean, it is a way. 
but you have to take the metal this metal bit yeah you have to take it out and then cut the plastic like that you can do it but it's dodgy I mean, I know it looks like a boring job, but actually those are the best jobs. I mean, it's a charging port. It took us like, what, five minutes? And a charging port job is like 60 pounds. These are good jobs. Like charging port replacement. Like screen replacement. Like hard drive and windows. battery replacement we need one more screw here this or no this one must be this one yeah that's the one so one more time, plug in the charger. We do have the charging light. <clears throat> and this kind of jobs you can get them only on a shop. Yeah. I mean, I can't like our online job. I can't get this kind of jobs. And we have the charging sign. I mean, I can't see anything like privacy related on this laptop. Plugged in. Nine minutes, that's finished charging. And you can't see. Okay, so everything is fine with this laptop. We fix it. We can move to the next one. Good. Let's move to the next laptop. Yeah, exactly what I told you, remember? What did I told you? It's a 60 pound job. That's how much is a charging for replacement. Give me one second. Okay. Here we have another job. Hinge. Okay, hinge is broke. Now, if the hinge is broke, it's nothing what you can do. You have to order the hinge. But usually the hinge is not broke. I mean, on this, I mean on this one, on this one is not a broken hinge. Actually, you know, the this, this is actually the, the back cover thing is where the screws has to be are broken. <clears throat> now let's see if it's working. That's very important. Because you can have a faulty screen, yeah? And if you have a faulty screen and you don't test it, the customer can say, you know what? My screen was fine before you touch it. Let me shut down the laptop. It's very important to test the screen in a hinge job.
Okay, let's take out the screen cover. Yeah, we have to be careful here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so we took out the, the thingy. Now, this is bent. You can see the metal is bent. Yeah. We have to get rid of the... We have some kind of foil here, you see? Yeah, you don't want foil here. So we're gonna fix this hinge with hot glue like usual. Hmm. I don't even know how to do it. Let's try and open this hinge. Yeah, that's better. That's better. So this has to be like that. And what do we have left? The problem is this is the hinge with the Wi-Fi wires. And <clears throat> this it will make the job a little bit tricky. But we should be fine, right? And wait, even the screen cable is here. Huh. Okay, it is a tricky job. Wow, the hinge, you can't even move it. So we have to open the laptop to lose the hinge. I think. Or we can do it from here. No. So we have to open the laptop anyway, because the hinge is too tight, yeah? So I will say, or maybe not, one second. No, we do have, <coughs> we do have to open the laptop. I don't even know how to do it, because... Uh, I don't want to damage the laptop more than it is. But I have to close it because the battery is on the back. Right? Let me close it. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Let's take out the battery. <clears throat> take out the screws. The case is cracked here, can you see? Maybe we can do something about that. The DVD drive. Plastic clips. But where? Here. Okay, so the back cover is out. And we have this. 
plastic cover. Uh, we took out the battery, yeah, we can work on the LCD connector. Good. Yeah. Wait, I seen it wrong or? Yeah, I did seen wrong. So our two cables are the Wi-Fi and uh, and that's all. Let's open the hinge. The hinge job, yeah, are uh, good jobs. Okay. Now that's the hinge. And you know what? I will open even this one so I can take the. You know, I can separate the screen from the. From the laptop. This is broken also. Still good, but broken. So now we can get rid of this part, right? I don't know what is this. Oh, the mouse button. Okay. Good. Okay, okay. Now how can I open this plastic? So this is so annoying, this plastic. Oh, you can open. No, you cannot open. It's one piece. Okay, so we have the hinge. Let's lose the hinge. Yeah. That's better. That's perfect. Mm, nearly perfect. Yeah, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Yeah. So this one has to be there, right? Somehow. Here. Has to be here. Good. The cables has to be here. Yeah, like that, okay? Now let's come with some hot glue and do a good job with hot glue here. Any more air? Yeah. I'll try to drop tears of hot glue here because that's mean it's proper hot. Well, I'm not sure if you can see. No. Yeah. That's better, right? If the focus can be here, it's better, but it's not.
You know, the nice part with hot glue is it can be open any time. But if you use something else, you cannot open it. Okay, that's fine. Hold below my table. Huh? So it has to be like that, right? Good. Now let's do a good job. Let me get a small nozzle because we don't want. Wow, that's hot. We don't want to melt. anything here that's good Let's put the screws. Okay, let's wait a little bit because we need to put more hot glue there. We need to make a sandwich between the top part and the bottom part. Then we have to put the, the front cover to close the sandwich, yeah? Get. Let me take out this one. That seems to be fine. Okay, you can see the hot glue is coming out there. Yeah, we have to move fast. We have to move fast. That's okay. We have a cable here. Oh, sorry, you can't see. I don't know what the cable is doing here. Yeah, now it's fine.
This hinge is still good. I mean, it's moving decent. Now let's get this hot glue outside. Yeah, we don't need this. We don't need this. So everything is fine here, right? Right. Perfect, yeah. Let me grab the laptop. Let's try to put it uh, to put it all back together. Okay, so how this has to be like that? Yeah. Like that. You see, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I mean, yeah, you always have an option to order the, you know, the back cover if you can find it, the screen back cover. If you can find it, of course. Okay, so here, yeah, and here, perfect. Now we have the wire, this is the Wi Fi wire. You see, this one has only one Wi Fi cable. I mean, when sorting, you know, you remember when I had the hinge job, and that was, uh, you have the, on the hinge job, I mean, on the all laptops, you have one Wi Fi cable coming from here, and one Wi Fi cable from here. And the wires were broken, and I I was canceling that wire and I said, you know what? The Wi Fi were fine with one cable. The people said, sorry, you're dodgy, you're dodgy. But you see, when the manufacturer is using only one antenna, the manufacturer is not dodgy. Oh, it's according with the design. You see, this laptop cannot do balancing uh, because it has only one Wi Fi. Usually, a laptop with two Wi Fi antenna can balance, you know, depends which antenna has more signal, can be selected. Or if you have a good Wi-Fi card, <clears throat> you can use one antenna for Tays, one antenna for Rx. Depends of the standard, yeah. <clears throat> so we need one screw here, which not sure I know where it is. Where is this screw? This has a screw here, yeah? Or no, it wasn't here? There was no screw here? We don't know. We have only big screws. I can't see a small screw here. Uh, Actually, it's no screw there. That's insane. So the fan has only one screw. Wow. No, I can't see any. 
let's try, let's try a different one. No, there wasn't screw. So this fan has only one screw here. That's all. Okay, let's see here. Here you can see we have broke the we have a broken thingy there. So we can use a little bit of hot glue. It's still good. The other three are still good. But if you can use a little bit of hot glue to fix it, why not? Perfect. Now let's put the screws. Good. Good, and we have one from the back cover, right? Perfect. What we can do here? Yeah, here we can use some hot glue, yeah, right? Look, look at this thing. I mean, I'm not paid for this, but if we can do something, you know, just to going extra mile for the customer, going extra mile. Perfect. Perfect. The mouse button, the mouse button, yeah. We will check that also. Let's finish with the hinge first. I do have some complicated repairs with uh, IO chip uh, replacements, but I'm waiting for the part. Okay, so we have two long screws. So those two long screws are from here. Yeah, are from here. Yeah. Now let's put back the battery. Let's lock the battery. Now let's see what we did. Huh? Proper, proper solid job. We have here a little bit of hot glue. We can clean it. I'm trying to do it without scratching the, the plastic, yeah? Without scratching the plastic. Yeah, we can use some alcohol to clean it. But you know what, I don't want the alcohol to go inside of my hinge, right? We don't want something like that. Okay, here is a problem, yeah? 
I mean, it's not getting broken, but I can see it's a little bit of distance. And what we can do, we can switch the hot air around 100 degrees, right? 100 degrees. Can go probably like 120. Yeah, probably I can go 130. I think it's enough, yeah? Yeah, like that, yeah? The mouse button, the mouse button is broken. So this thing is moving here. I mean, it's still clicking. But you see, the plastic just goes out from, uh, yeah. How we can fix it? Very simple, with some hot glue. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, wait. Just a little bit. I mean, the button is still moving, but it's not coming out. Yeah, we can even fix this if the customer choose to fix it. We can open and uh, just create a few bridges, four bridges with hot glue. And then the button, it will be solid. No, it's fine. Yeah. Same with, uh, you see, now it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Power on, and the laptop is coming on. We have the HP logo on the screen, we're loading up the windows. Quite dirty, I mean. But yeah, what you can do? What we can do? Yeah, it's working fine, yeah. Uh, Yeah, the, the, let me check the Wi-Fi. I want to check the Wi-Fi. It's slow. It's slow. So Wi-Fi is off. Let's turn the airplane mode off, Wi-Fi on. Yeah, and we have all the Wi-Fi networks. Yeah, all good. All good, and the hinge is solid. Okay. Come on, I 
shut it down. Yeah, shutting down now. Another job well done. Let me put the sticker back. Another happy customer. Yeah, all good. Let me fix even this one. All good. Let me grab the other laptop. Hey, remember I told you I have same uh, same Dell. You see the same Dell, same Dell laptop like the other one. Now this one, this one need a charging port like this. That's broken. The problem is. The problem is I just used the, the charging port. If I tell you I order more from eBay and they send me only one, so actually I order two and they send me one and I text the customer, the seller, and the seller doesn't answer me. That sucks, you know. Okay, let me check. Let me see what the seller is doing. I mean, I hate this, you know, because they have a tracking number, so they deliver the package. And, uh, you know, if they, no, they didn't answer. No, they don't care. <laughs> so I have to open a case. I have to go uh, through eBay and open a case. Let me... First, you know what? I'm not, I'm not like a, okay, I didn't get it. I will go and open a case. No, I'm trying first, like to have like a decent conversation with the seller. Because I don't want to hurt anyone, you know, for a mistake. But there are sellers and uh, you see, like this one, didn't answer. Why did my seller didn't answer? Okay, so you see, check here, check here. Okay, I will still wait for the answer. But I message him, yeah? Charging port, yeah? Ah, hi, I received only one port instead of two. Can you please check what is going on with my order? Yeah, they sent me only one. Eh, they didn't answer. But we'll wait till tomorrow, yeah? Maybe, you know, they are uh, different time zone. I don't know. I've seen a lot of sellers. They, uh, you know, they, they, they are not in the United Kingdom, but they have the account like they are here. But this one was posted from United Kingdom. So uh, I don't understand. Well, just let's wait till tomorrow, and uh, if they don't answer, I'll open a case. Of course, of course, we can fix this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can fix it. You know, I can bend back the metals and uh, make it work. I, 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 I swear I can. I can do it. We can do it. I mean, what can be wrong here if the, the port is too loose, yeah? Reflections, yeah, reflections, we have reflections. So uh, those, but those are fine, check here, they are popping up. Yeah, so those are fine, the plus. The minus, this one is very inside, you can see. Yeah, that one is inside. Oh, no, 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 wait, those are all fine, wait. So this port problem, so check here. So this port issue is the metal from here is not pushing down you can see so here is supposed to be one second so this is supposed to push the connector down uh, 
Uh, let's try now. Yeah, now it's fine. Let me try now. Let's plug the port. Uh huh. Now it's a different story. You look, it's a different story. Well, let's see if it's charging. So it is charging. Yeah, you see, it's, it's constantly charging. Now has no problem. So I can use this, right? No, you know what? Let's wait for the. Let's wait for the other new. Yeah, let's don't make dodgy jobs. I'm just saying. I will stop the recording and I will replace the port. I will use this port. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I'm not gonna do something like that. Yeah, I'm not saying you know in the video. Well, I will replace it, and after I close the video, I'll stick this in. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that dodgy. Let's be honest, yeah? So, charging port job is 60 pounds. A port is like 5 pounds. It's not even worth to... Okay, let's use this one. Maybe I can keep it here to use it for testing. But not to trick the customer for 5 pounds. You know, kind of pointless. Okay, yeah, it's 50 minutes, I can't believe. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And probably see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah, this was a long one. kind of remember of the old days of the channel right? actually I didn't uh, uh, edit any video you know every video taken from work upload it straight away to YouTube yeah okay so have a fantastic weekend and see you on the next one bye